Hey y'all, welcome to Kamira's Kitchen. Today we're about to tear this kitchen up, making this delicious, juicy jerk chicken rasta pasta. This has all the tropical flavors in it. You don't wanna miss it. And I'm also gonna be giving this pasta away. Stay tuned to the end if you want to see that. For starters, I have three fat chicken breasts. Now, the loyal fans know I don't really play with chicken breasts like that, okay? So if I'm telling you it's good, you know I put some, you know, I put a little something on that chicken breast, right? To make it taste good, because I'm telling y'all it was indeed juicy. Now, chicken breast um, tends to be uneven. So there's a thick side and then there is a thinner side. I like to pound my chicken breast out on the thicker side to make it a little bit more even. I think it cooks better that way. And I'm just gonna use a good old rolling pin, play a little whack-a-mole, okay? And I'm gonna even that chicken breast out a little bit. It does not have to be completely flat. Um, just, just give it a few good whacks, okay? Build up them, them arm muscles, right? Now, once your chicken is flat, it will look something like this. Even if the muscle is torn a little bit at the top, no problem. We all know chicken breast is dry, so we need to add on a generous amount of olive oil. I'm putting in about two tablespoons right now and I'm coating it on all sides. For seasonings, I am using the Grace's Wet Jerk Seasoning Marinade. You could also use Walker Woods. That's a fantastic brand, but this is what I had and I'm gonna, in total, use about two to three tablespoons. Now this has salt in it, so you don't really need to add much additional salt to this marinade. I'm also using a dry jerk seasoning mix. I don't know why I like to use the wet and the dry necessarily, but I think this just gives it a better overall flavor. And this is a homemade blend. In the description box, I will tell you how I made it, but it is salt free. I'm also going in with some all purpose seasoning. This has some paprika, a little bit of pimento, a little garlic powder, onion powder. And I gotta throw on a little extra thyme because I just love the flavor of thyme. I use a little bit of chicken bouillon for a little kick, and I like to put on some lime juice. The acid in the lime juice helps to break down the fibers of the chicken and make it a lot more tender. Do not skip adding lime or lemon to this. I'm gonna mix this up, and I'm going to allow this to marinate for 30 minutes at room temperature. We're gonna cook this in the skillet, so I need my meat to be at room temperature. So just let it sit to the side. For my fresh ingredients, I have some thyme, I have half of an onion that I have minced, I have four cloves of garlic, fresh garlic, and I also have three different types of bell peppers. I got my greens, my yellows, and my sweet juicy reds. You don't have to use all the colors. Now in my skillet, I'm gonna put in a little bit of olive oil and I have this heating on about a medium high heat and some butter for that flavor. I'm gonna allow this to melt and then I'm gonna put in my chicken breast and I'm gonna allow them to cook on this side unmoved for about four minutes because I want the color to develop on these chicken breasts. Once I have allowed them to cook for four minutes, I'm then gonna go in and I'm going to flip the chicken to the other side. Allowing it to cook like this, you will see that there's some browning that's developing on the bottom of the skillet and also on the sides and on the chicken itself. That is what you want. That color is going to show you that you're getting a good flavor on your meat and you're not gonna overcook the chicken breast. Don't do more than about four, maximum four and a half minutes on each side because nobody wants dry chicken on their rasta pasta. When it is finished, go ahead and take that chicken out and allow it to rest. Don't cut it right away or else you're gonna let all the juices from that chicken run out and we don't want that, okay? Cause we need those juices for that pasta. Throw in some more butter and we're gonna start working on the cream sauce, right? I'm first putting in the onions. The onions gonna cook a little bit on their own cause I want them to be caramelized and soft but I don't want the peppers in now because I want my peppers to stay a bit crunchy. Saute this for about one minute. Y'all thought I forgot about those spices that were in the marinade on that chicken. No, 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 honey, I did not. I even swirled just a little bit of water in that bowl because we getting out that flavor. All right, we getting all the flavor into this dish. 
put your thyme in the pan and let this cook just for about 30 seconds. And now for the garlic. I don't want my garlic to burn. That's why I don't put it in um, with the onions. I'm just gonna let this cook for about 30 seconds. Now it is time for the peppers and the peppers only need to saute for about one minute just to get the rawness off of them. Now we're gonna cut up that chicken. Now, you need to make sure that you cut this up pretty for the presentation. Any chicken pieces that come out ugly, the top trying to mess up, oh, you getting thrown in the pasta, okay? You're not gonna be on top like the cute pieces, all right? So once that chicken is cut up, go ahead and pour the juices from that chicken into the pan. So delicious, you better not throw them chicken juices away. If you do, I am watching you. Okay, I'm coming for you. That is where the flavor is, okay? Now, the heavy cream is going in. Put in a full pint of heavy cream. I'm using two cups here. A packet of Sazon. I'm using the whole packet. This is gonna enhance the flavor and also give it a nice color. One teaspoon of that jerk marinade, and I'm going to season to taste from here. I'm gonna add in some garlic powder, some more of that dry, jerk seasoning. I'm also going to just salt to taste here. You just have to feel out, you know, how much you like it. Because you're adding in something like pasta, which is rather bland, you're better off having a sauce that is a tad bit over seasoned because the blandness from the pasta is going to, you know, absorb some of that flavor. I'm putting in six ounces of mozzarella cheese in about half a cup of Parmesan cheese for a nuttiness. And then I'm going to stir this together and allow that cheese to melt and just bubble away. Remember, taste, taste, taste this sauce and see how you like it. Put your noodles in. Unfortunately, my noodles were a little stuck together, but that's okay. We are gonna work them apart. All right, we are just gonna work them apart and slowly mix them into this delicious, cheesy, jerk seasoned sauce. Now time for the pieces of chicken that got cut up ugly. Yep, we gonna stick them in right now. Okay, yes sir. We are gonna go in and this is when we are going to mix them inside of the pasta. Nobody has to see them, okay, but we will eat them, amen. Mix them into the pasta. And at this point, the chicken is going to begin to season the pasta as well. You, of course, all along want to just taste it and see how you like it. Now we can put on the cute chicken. All right, the ones that we cut up that was looking good. Go ahead and put those around the side. You guys know we have to have a lovely presentation, even if this is just for your family. We all know we eat with our eyes first, and we're going to toss on a little bit of that parsley, all right, for the cuteness. Okay, y'all know I was going to do that. Now, this rasta pasta was absolutely delicious, and I went and I was able to make about four packs with this, and I also included some zucchini bread, which I will be putting a video out for soon. All right, guys, so we have packed up the rasta pasta, and we're going to go find a couple people that we can deliver this food to. <laughs> okay, people. We found two people. Come here, it's kitchen. All right, let's go. All right, so how'd it go? Oh, great. That was very friendly. Okay, tell the she people that. Like no, they're very friendly. She was like, oh, this this is good. She said, this chicken is good, good. She said, it's good, good. And so she um she really she loved it. And then the guys over there, they was being funny. They were um they were saying, Oh, go and bring me one. And um they was I only had two left, but it was like four of them. So he they was like, You put some on this, it's vegan, what is this? I'm like, nah, it's, it's real chicken. And they were like, This this solid, it's really good. So they enjoyed it. And one of them, she was just saying that um she's been having a tough time and oh, so okay. it really blessed her she said she really enjoyed it so yeah she, they enjoyed it so yep guys so we dropped off four plates of rasta pasta and we're gonna be keep, we're gonna keep doing this um on this channel so you you guys let me know in the comments who else should we get food to who else should we reach out to what else y'all want me to cook for them 
okay? And I'll see you next time on Kamira's Kitchen and goodbye.